experiment. Uh, we incorporated the use of several simple machines, such as, but not limited to, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, pulleys, uh, levers, I believe, wheels. We watched a couple videos to get enlightened, I suppose, and we started out, um, originally we tried to start from the beginning and then work our way towards the end, but we found that um, it would be easier to start with the end product and how we wanted it to finish and then work our way back, um, like step by step, and it turned out to be a lot easier. A lot of problems that we encountered had to do with spacing or um, weight. Uh, for example, the dominoes didn't have enough force to pull the sponge away to start the ball rolling down the ramp. Uh, and then when we got to the ramp, uh, we initially had the ball rolling in from the side, but that didn't have enough force either, so then James had the brilliant idea of attacking the stick from <laughs> the other way. <laughs> The problem we encountered was the bowling ball. Uh, the hammer did not hit hard enough to send the bowling ball off of its uh, perch. <laughs> um, so from the beginning, we kind of collaborated our ideas, like we. We, we brainstormed for a class period and um, got our ideas together and then we, when we were actually starting to build it, I think um, we did a good job of like using our, the, the concepts we've learned in physics of everyday life. Like for example, to start it off, I pulled the car and which uh, knocked off the sponge and the ball came down. Um, and then James, as we talked about earlier, he was the one that had the idea to change the, the direction of the ball. Um, and Blake used a pulley to um, allow the hammer to fall into the bowling ball. Well, you know, I think we worked out together pretty well, but you know, a few slackers here and there. Um, I was on the injury <laughs> Yeah, well, we had Robbie, who was uh, I think in like Cancun or something. <laughs> who just, uh, you know, he had his wisdom teeth pulled out, so he kind of wasn't there. Now, James, you know, and he had to leave early for another class or something, you know, another class. <laughs> and overall, Matt Maggie did a good job, though, I think. You know, she was a definitely strong leader of our team, but, you know, the other kids, uh... So I'd say overall, the Rube Goldberg experiment was um, a very good experience for myself and my fellow classmates. I would say I'm most proud of our beloved teacher, Ms. Peterson, for allowing us to spill a bucket of water on her face during the class day. And uh, that was both entertaining and a bit terrifying at the same time. I was most proud of our ability to transform our original idea into an uh, almost working group Goldberg machine. <laughs> um, we were able to incorporate uh, most, <laughs> most of our original plans, and they ended up working. Well, I, I learned that, you know, it's a lot harder than it looks. Um, trying to get everything one after to work for a single time, you know, everything would go perfectly, it was really hard. You know, we had a lot of failed runs where we'd have to uh, uh, reset, and resetting wasn't the easiest thing either, so it was kind of the... Uh, frustration and tediousness of it. Go oh, slow. If all goes well, Roddy's going to release the car, which will release the sponge, releasing the uh, ball to go down the loop, hitting uh, the uh, wood underneath, the big wood, which is going to fall over, close the scissors, uh, release the hammer by cutting a string, hit the bowling ball, which is 
is then going to be a fully dump the bucket of water.